Hey there, this is Lula Alvey. I don't usually come on screen in my new release videos, but I have a very quick announcement today for my returning viewers before we preview the September new releases at Louis Vuitton. I'm changing my schedule just slightly going forward. I will not be publishing videos on Wednesdays anymore, Fridays only, so once a week, come to my channel for a new video. If you want to make sure you catch all the new videos as well as announcements, I did post this schedule change to my community page earlier this week. Make sure you are subscribed. And if you're new here, thank you so much for joining me. This is Lula LV on my channel. I do a lot of videos about new releases at Louis Vuitton, but I also share tips on how to be a smart luxury shopper by sharing advice you can actually use based on my personal experiences as a luxury consumer. So again, if all that sounds good to you, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Today we're previewing the new releases at Louis Vuitton this month, September, 2023. There's so much going on. This is going to be a little bit of a longer video. So make sure you grab some refreshments, maybe a little snack and get cozy because it's going to be a long one and you won't want to skip ahead because there's so many good things. We're going to start by looking at some new men's releases and there's really, really cool stuff coming out in the men's line this month and a lot of things that I think you might actually like, whether you're a man or a woman. Then we'll be going into the women's new releases and this video, we're only focusing on leather goods, bags, and small leather goods. We're going to look at some high-end bags that have come out this month, some capucines, twists, even some exotics which have caught my eye. And I love to look at those just for the eye candy, even though I don't personally buy exotics. But we'll also be looking at some monogram bags that have been coming out. And the last new collection I'm previewing for September is the Constellation Capsule, which is going to be super, super popular. So make sure you keep watching until the end for that. And then after we look at the Constellation bags, we'll be previewing what's to come in October. So you'll have a sense of what we'll be looking at in next month's new releases video. And maybe you can plan ahead a little bit. Anyway, enough talking from me. Let's get into the video. And as I said, starting with the new men's collections. This month, there were three main releases in the men's line, the Monogram Tones and Epi XL, which were part of the Fall Winter Collection, as well as new colors in the Aerogram line. Let's start off with Monogram Tones. This came in two different colorways. Here we see it in blue with the regular brown monogram accent. I really love these pieces. Here's a small sample of some of the pieces included in this colorway. I won't be going over all the pieces in depth in this video. They are available online already, so I will link to these collections online if you'd like to see everything available. But just to highlight a few, here we have the Avenue Sling Bag, and this blue colorway is actually called Atlantic Blue. We will also see Atlantic Blue in the Aerogram colors coming up. I really love this sling bag because I love the combination of the brown and blue monogram here. I love how it's mostly blue, but you can still see a ton of that brown traditional Louis Vuitton monogram. Here's my favorite piece from this collection, and this is the Keep All Bandolier 25. If you want this bag, I would go on and order it right away because this is the piece that will likely sell out, and this is super adorable. This is priced at $2,660, which is pretty pricey for a Keep All Bandolier 25, but I think this is a really classic piece that you will be able to use for many years to come, and it's a real statement piece. Now let's take a look at the other colorway in this collection. The other color available is khaki green and the accent color for these pieces is red. So there's none of that traditional brown monogram. There's a red monogram inside these pieces and is the outside accent color. Again, here is a selection of some of the pieces in this collection. I will link in the description box below the full collections if you would like to see more. But again, here are a few highlights. 
I love this bag. It's the LV Moon Crossbody. I think this is a super fun, easy, casual bag. I love this crossbody moon shape. And here you can see that bright pop of red interior color. I don't think this colorway will be quite as popular as the blue and brown colorway, but I could be wrong. I would love to know what you think of this green and red colorway. So comment below and let us know. Of course, there are keep balls included in this collection as it is a men's collection. Here we have the keep all bandolier 55. This is priced at $3,250. It's a little pricier than the regular monogram keep all, but if you're in the market for a keep all or another similar piece of luggage, I would definitely look into this collection because I think it's a really great twist on a classic piece. Speaking of a twist on a classic, we also have the Epi XL Red Collection that also launched this month. These two collections both launched on September 14th, so they are available. These pieces are all in red Epi leather, but it is the Epi XL, so the Epi leather grain is enlarged on these pieces. It's not the regular um, small grain that you would see on a regular Epi leather piece. I hope that makes sense. You can kind of see what I'm talking about on the pocket organizer on the right. The Epi grain is enlarged. So again, let's take a look at a few key highlights from this range. One is the Christopher M.M. backpack. This is a classic staple of the men's line, and here we see it in red epi leather. I'm not usually one who's drawn to the Christopher backpack. It's a little too big and bulky for me, but somehow I think it just really works great in this red epi leather color. Now here are the Aerogram colors that also launched this month. There are three new colors, a sable beige, Atlantic Blue and Blue Nuage. Let's take a look at all three. Here's the beige sable, and this is shown in the takeoff backpack. This is priced at $3,300. That's the current price for the Aerogram line. There has been no price increase in any of these Aerogram pieces. And there's quite a few other pieces included in this colorway in the collection. Again, I will refer to the links in the description box to see the full collections. The second color that launched this month is called Blue Nuage, and it's this beautiful pale blue color. Here we see it in the multiple wallet, and this is priced at $675. This collection includes a whole range of full-size leather goods, as well as small leather goods like this multiple wallet. Now let's take a look at the third and final color that launched this month. This is Atlantic Blue, and yes, that's the same blue that we just saw in the Monogram Tones line. And if you really love that color, you're in luck because it's also part of Aerogram. That's all the men's pieces that I'm going to preview in today's video. I'm going to focus most of this time on the women's leather goods and small leather goods, so let's take a look at those now. And we are starting off women's leather goods with new bags in a monogram canvas. There are a couple new ones, including this micro Chantilly. It is absolutely tiny and adorable, priced at $1,670. Here are a few mod shots of it, and this thing is tiny, let me tell you. Here's a video that was taken by a Louis Vuitton client advisor, and she shows what can fit inside this bag. It is a mere five by five inches and one and a half inches in depth. Here she has a Louis Vuitton card holder. She slips it inside the bag. The bag does close, but look, it barely fits. The card holder sticks up so you can see it over the side of the bag. Just for comparison, here's the micro Chantilly on the right compared with the new Summer BB on the left, which is also a small bag, and you can see how much smaller it is. The Salmer BB is the second new monogram bag I wanted to talk about, and if this looks familiar to you, it's because I covered it in 
last month's new releases video for August 2023. This was released in the United States in August. However, the global launch is this month, September. So here's all the information. It is available for pre-order globally, and the official launch date is September 15th. So actually, by the time this video goes up, you should just be able to order this bag. Here are a few mod shots of the Salmer BB. It comes with a crossbody option as well as a shoulder option. And the big news is this month, the Salmer is also launching in Epi Leather. This is the same exact size as the monogram version we just saw. It's launching in three different colors. From left to right, we have Saffron, Cognac, and Noir. It will also be launching in Quartz, which is a, a white or an ivory color. That one is not pictured. Here are some close-ups of the Salmer BB and Epi Lather. This will be launching most markets on September 15th. However, in EMEA, for example, the launch is delayed until September 29th. If you're interested in getting this bag in Epi Lather, please be aware there has been a key design change. The back pocket that we saw on the monogram version has been removed. There's no back pocket on the leather version. Just as a reminder, here's the back pocket on the monogram version. It is quite helpful. It's large enough to fit a phone in that pocket and that pocket has been removed from the Epi Leather version. Again, here is all of the price and release date information for the Salmer BB in Epi Leather coming on either September 15th or 29th, depending on where you live. Now let's move on to some different collections. Let's take a look at two new seasonal colors, Storm and Wine. We have a lot of pieces coming in these two colorways. First, we have the Kusan PM. Here we see it pictured in Storm. That's the greenish gray color on the outside and it has the burgundy wine color interior. This is priced at $5,000. And this Kusan is accompanied by the Kusan in wine. Again, this is the PM size, so it's the same size that we just saw, but the colors are reversed. This does also come with a beautiful bi-galvanized chain, which is half gold, half silver. We've been seeing that on a lot of the Kusans recently. Another bag coming in this colorway is the Twist. This is the Twist one-handle model. However, unlike the Kusan, the Storm and the Twist are available in one size only and they're two different sizes. The Storm color is available in the Twist PM size only. The Wine colorway is in the Twist BB size only. So hopefully they have the color in the size that you want. There's not a lot of versatility here, um, but these are beautiful bags. Moving on now to exotics. I thought this would be a great segue because there's a couple of mixed exotic bags in Storm and Wine. It's the On My Side PM. I think this is absolutely beautiful. The base of the bag is wine pebbled leather, but there's an accent of snakeskin trim around the top of the bag and this is gorgeous. This is Karung Snakeskin, which is known for being very thin yet durable. I think this is a beautiful bag. It does also come in the Storm colorway, again, but in a different size. This colorway is in the larger MM size. I hope you enjoy this little peek at exotics. Comment below and let me know if you're interested in more coverage on exotics or not. Another one that caught my eye this month is a new color of mink bag. This is in the color Rose Pop. You have two different options. The Kusan BB here, priced at $7,650, as well as the Capucine Mini, priced at $8,900. Here's a closer look at that Kusan BB in Rose Pop Mink, and just look at the beautiful detail on that gold chain. 
I'm not personally buying exotics myself, but I do really enjoy looking at them and just admiring their beauty, the workmanship and the craftsmanship that goes into these pieces. Here's a closer look at the Capucine Mini now. And I have to share with you the inspiration for this color because it quite surprised me. According to Louis Vuitton, this is, quote, inspired by the vivid pink colors of the ocean's flora. So this is inspired by the ocean. That completely caught me off guard when I read it, and I just had to share that little piece of information with you. The last couple exotics I wanted to share in this video is a new color. I'm not even sure the exact name of this color because it is so expensive. Unless you're a VV VIP, you're not buying these. I just wanted to show them because I think they are so beautiful. The card holder goes for almost $2,000 and that Nano Capucine, you don't even want to know what it's priced at. Speaking of capucines, let's look at some more high-end leather bags now, the Twists and Capucines, but not quite as pricey as those exotics. We have a few new twists. This is the Twist Heritage Strap. It comes in two different sizes and three different colors. There's a PM size in camel, as well as the MM size in Ruby and Noir. This is a really beautiful bag. I love all the little intricate details. Even on the inside of the bag, when you open it up, you can see all these cute little luggage stickers on the interior lining of the bag. Here's a 360 view and some modeling shots. This is courtesy from a Louis Vuitton client advisor. One thing I did want to note about this bag on that lining, this is a fabric lining, not leather. Correct me if I'm wrong, but the twists usually have a leather lining. This one does not. There's also a belted capucine coming this month. I do need to make a quick note about the price. I have on screen 9,200 euro. I am almost positive that price is wrong. I had 9,200 in my notes, but I think that is way too high. I believe the correct price is 6,200. So just be aware of that and double check with your advisor if you're interested in buying this bag. Here is the belted capucine in Arizona and Noir side by side. And here are some more modeling shots, again, courtesy of fantastic Louis Vuitton client advisors. I'd also love to know what you think of this bag, so feel free to share your thoughts in the comments. There's more capucines coming this month. There are a lot of new additions coming to the Flower Crown range. I think these are absolutely gorgeous. Here are two of the new Flower Crown Capucines coming this month. These are in the colors Noir and Cream. These are both Capucines BB, and look at that gorgeous mother of pearl along the top of the back. The cream colored pictured here will also come in the MM size, and that will be priced at 6,200 euro. The BB sizes pictured here will be priced at 5,700 euro. I apologize, I don't have USD pricing for these. The BB size will also come in fuchsia, and there will be a mini size in emerald as well, and those will both have mother of pearl. And a quick note about the fuchsia color. This is the picture I saw of fuchsia, and to me it looks more of a burgundy not a bright pink fuchsia. So if you're interested in that bag, that is just something to be aware of. I'm not sure if I would exactly call that a true fuchsia color. There will also be one velvet capucine included in the flower crown range. This will be available in the color midnight blue. And instead of the mother of pearl detail, this has full Swarovski crystal strass across the top of the bag and the LV logo. I think this is a gorgeous combination of that Swarovski crystal with the midnight blue velvet. This is a really gorgeous sweet evening bag and this comes in the mini size. This will be priced at 5,400 euro. 
I have just one more capucine to show you before we move on to other bags. This is your standard capucine BB. This is in a new smalt blue color launching on September 15th. It will also be launching in the color ochre on September 29th. That colorway will be available in the capucine mini size. The capucine and smalt blue will be in the BB size priced at $6,750. And if you love that blue color, you're in luck. You can also complete your look with the Capucine Compact Wallet priced at $1,010. Now, let's move on from the Capucines. Here is one of my absolute favorite new bags this month. This is the Dauphine Mini in Epi Leather. This is coming in two new colorways. Here it is in the color Poivre. Sorry for my American accent, but that's the best I can do. This comes with beautiful gold hardware, a chain strap, as well as a, an adjustable leather strap. This is launching on September 29th and it will be priced at $3,950. The other colorway this is coming in is rose, and I think this is going to look absolutely darling. I love this, and actually both of these colors, I think that pink is really special though. Now let's take a look at a few new styles that are launching this month, specifically the Locket and the Lock and Go. Let's start with the Locket. This is a brand new bag. This is in the size MM. And as you can tell from the dimensions on screen, this is a really big bag. This would probably be great as a travel or a work bag. I don't think you would want to use this every day, particularly in leather. I think it would probably be pretty heavy. Here we see it pictured in the colors Earth gold and noir from left to right. This should also be coming in cream, although I don't have that pictured. This is also quite pricey, coming in at $5,550. Here's a quick look at the interior of the bags, and it's a microfiber lining in the same color as the exterior color. Let's take a look at another new bag coming to the Lock Me range. This is called the Lock and Go. This launches on September 15th, and this will be priced at $3,200. It's pictured here in noir. This will also be coming in quartz, which is the white or ivory color. When I first saw this bag, I thought immediately of the On The Go PM. You can tell from a design standpoint, these bags are almost identical. The Lock and Go has the Lock Me Clasp, um, the LV logo, whereas the On The Go PM has the Empreinte Leather instead. But other than that difference, these are basically the same bag. You can even see the dimensions are almost exactly the same, and the prices are almost exactly the same for that matter too. So really this just comes down to personal preference as to which bag you just think looks better and will better suit your personal style, whether it's the Empreinte Leather or the Lock Me Style Clasp. Let's move on now to Mahina Leather. We have a lot of new pieces coming this month, plus a new Mahina Leather color. I've already published a video previewing the Flight Mode collection, including Mahina Leather goods. So I will link to that video above as well as in the description box below. I won't rehash everything in this video, but here's a small sample to see what I previewed in that video last week. These are all of the Mahina Leather pieces from the Flight Mode collection. In addition to the Flight Mode collection pieces, there's a new Mahina Leather color called Rose Jasmine. This will include several small leather goods, such as the four key holder. These are all launching on September 29th. This will also include the Zippy Wallet. This is priced at $1,390. Yes, the Mahina leather pieces are quite a bit more expensive than the other leathers in the Louis Vuitton range. 
This will also include the Iris X small wallet, priced at 830 US dollars. These are all the pieces I have right now with photos and information. These are launching at the end of the month and will also include the Victorine and the Clea wallets. Now let's preview the collection that is going to be, I think, the most popular this month, the Constellation Collection. This is a new capsule collection, and it will be comprised of two different leathers, Ompront and Mahina leather pieces. The Ompront leather pieces are launching first. They will be releasing on September 29th. They were originally scheduled for October. However, the release date was moved up by two weeks. These Ompront leather pieces will have the monogram print in golden studs coated with 0.25 microns of gold. The Mahina leather pieces will be launching a little bit later. Their release date is scheduled for October 13th, and the Mahina leather pieces will not have gold studs. Instead, the monogram print will be laminated on top of the leather, so a little bit of a different fabrication. Let's preview now the Empreint leather pieces coming this month on September 29th. The first piece we have is the ever popular Speedy Bandolier 25. This will be priced at $3,100, quite pricey for a Speedy Bandolier 25. Here's a close up look of the interior of the bag. This just has a dark, I can't tell if it's a dark gray or a black microfiber lining, but either way, I think these look really gorgeous. The next style we have is the Neo Noe BB. This will be priced at $3,050. And this is the uh, Neo Noe with the divided interior. You can see that divider going across the middle there. The next style we have in this collection is the Ivy Walk. This is a relatively new wallet on chain from Louis Vuitton. In the Constellation capsule, this will be priced at $2,270. Like the monogram version, this does come with two strap options, a chain strap and an adjustable leather strap. Here we have the On The Go PM and the Bagatelle. The On The Go PM is priced at $3,800. I apologize, I don't have any more information on that style. The Bagatelle is priced at $2,950. Finally, here we have the Nano Speedy. This is priced at $2,380, which is quite pricey for a Nano Speedy. That's everything I have from the Constellation Collection. Again, these Omprompt pieces are launching on September 29th. I think they're going to be very popular. So if you're interested, definitely visit your store or reach out to your client advisor as soon as possible. That's everything I have for September, at least in terms of leather goods. Now let's take a quick preview of what we can expect in October, starting out with the Twist Quilted Lock. This will be launching on October 13th. This is coming in two different colors, small blue and noir. Of course, this is the same blue we saw again and again in high-end leather goods this past month. It will now be launching in October in this qu Twist Quilted Lock, excuse me. We will also be getting a new Ski Cousin, again launching on October 13th. This will be available in the Cousin PM size in noir and the BB size in gray. Both of these Cousins will feature this beautiful rainbow hardware as well as a rainbow monogram print on the lambskin leather. We will also be getting a shearling range. I know a lot of people have been looking forward to this. Again, launching on October 13th, it seems like everything next month is coming out on the 13th. The shearling pieces will include the bum bag as well as the speedy bandolier 25. This range will also include a backpack as well as the over the moon crescent shaped bag. 
These will be priced uh, both around 3,000 euro. Unfortunately, I only have euro pricing for all of these pieces right now, but I do have item IDs, so you can reach out to your client advisor and pre-order these now. All you have to do is provide the item ID. And speaking of Shearling, there will be a Shearling Capucine BB next month. This is priced at $7,450. And to be quite honest with you, it's not my favorite version of the Capucine ever. I actually prefer a lot of the other Capucines we previewed earlier in this video over the Shearling one. There will also be a lot of men's releases in October. Here we have a new range called Bleached Denim. This will be launching on October 26th. Here we see it pictured on the Christopher backpack. Again, this isn't exactly my favorite range. Um, I don't think this is going to age very well. I think in a couple years, this may start to look a little bit dated. Um, but again, I could be wrong. Let me know what you think. Here we see more bleached denim. This is the Discovery backpack. I don't have prices for any of these yet, but I do have item IDs. So again, if you are interested in any of these, you can reach out to your client advisor with the item IDs and put in your interest for a pre-order. Here we see two other pieces that will be available, the Keep All Bandolier 25, as well as the Pochette Voyage. Finally, here's a list of everything coming in bleached denim. This is in addition to the pieces we already saw pictured. As you can see, it's a pretty sizable collection. There will be a lot coming in bleached denim, a lot of full-size bags, as well as small leather goods. Another men's release coming in October is the men's Damier Rush. This will be launching on October 12th. Here we see it pictured on the Monsaurus backpack, as well as the steamer wearable wallet. Again, same here, no prices, but I do have the item IDs. Again, here we have a list of other pieces coming in Damier Rush. This is in addition to the two pieces we already saw. And here's a better picture of what this print will look like. Here you can see it a little bit better on the background. Basically, it's your standard Damier print, but blurred to make it, I guess, look like it's rushing past you. And of course, I cannot end this video without talking about the holiday animation. This is launching on October 27th. I already did an entire video on this animation. I previewed the um, pictures that are coming, as you can see here. I previewed all the items as well as prices for those items. So check out that video linked above and in the description box below. If you made it this far, thank you so much. Leave me a star emoji in the comments to let me know and come back every Friday for new videos. I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye now.